Welcome to linuxin.com YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is bash scripting. But before that, I have a news to break. One important thing is that we are starting a new series on bash scripting. If you go onto YouTube and search 3R bash course, you will see our video on the top. We now have authority in bash and that's what we're going to continue. We had a lot of comments from you guys, we had a lot of appreciation, and we have a lot of suggestions for future topics as well. So what we are going to do is that we're going to create a series in which we take you from the very, very basic to the very, very advanced level. So every week, we are going to try to post two to three bash scripting videos. So next upcoming couple of months, you can say they are very, very, very important. So what I recommend is that you click on the subscribe button and you hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any of our videos. So without a further ado, let's start. If you ask me what is bash, I'm not going to give you any book definitions because I do not like complicated things. I like to keep things simple and that was the one of the reason why our bash scripting course was so awesome and why it succeeded. If we talk about bash scripting, then it is not a programming language. It's different. In bash scripting, you can basically automate different tasks and you can basically work on the administrative tasks as well. The thing is that you cannot do these things easily in other programming languages. So that's why in order to work with different tools simultaneously, you're going to be needing bash scripting instead of other programming languages because bash scripting is really fast in these kind of matters. And if you are a Linux user, if you're running different commands on your terminal, and if you need to run multiple commands simultaneously, then you're also going to be needing bash scripting. So without a further ado, let's jump into my computer and let's discuss some of the things and let's learn how you can run your first bash script. Okay, so now you can see that I have my Ubuntu desktop screen right in front of me and here you can see that uh, I see one file only which is outline.odt file and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to press Control alt t which would open up my terminal for me and I can zoom in a little bit and here you can see my command line right in front of me. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to switch my directory or I'm going to change my directory with the cd command. I'm going to write here cd and then I'm going to write here desktop and I hit enter and it would take me to the desktop directory. So if I ls here right now, you can see that I have one file outline odt right here. Okay, I have no other file. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a bash script, but before that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you different bash shells. So in order to see different bash shells, what you're going to do is that you're going to write here cat, then you're going to write here slash edc, then you're going to write here slash shells. So here you can see uh, all the different shells which are available to you. And here uh, this one slash bin slash bash is our shell that we're going to use. Okay. You can also use slash user slash bin slash bash. So if I write here which bash, okay, it would give me the path to the bash shell. Okay, so I would write here and I would hit enter and I would see that here I have slash user slash bin slash bash. Okay, so you can use both of these lines in the beginning of the script and your computer would recognize uh, the file as bash script. Okay, so you can write this one and you can also write this one as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to clear my screen from my terminal and I'm going to write here um, hello dot sh which is a file that I'm going to create. But before that, I'm going to write here touch. Okay, so touch is the command that would create a file for you. And currently, as you can see that I'm in my desktop directory, uh, it's going to create a file in the present directory. Okay, so I can also uh, check my present directory if I want. Uh, and the way to do that is right by writing pwd command. And here you can see that I have slash home slash Linux hint slash desktop. Okay, so now I'm going to create a file. And for that, I would write here touch hello 
dot sh okay i hit enter and here you can see that on my desktop i have a text file so if i ls here you can see that i have hello dot sh and outline dot odt as well okay so in order to make it a, a bash script i have to follow uh, some of the specific conventions you can say so first of all what i need is that I'm gonna write here hash and then this exclamation mark and then I'm gonna write here slash bin slash bash okay so what this first line does is that it explains to your computer that now this is a bash strip okay so next whatever code you're gonna have it's gonna be of bash so execute accordingly okay so now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna write here echo and I put double quotes and inside these double quotes, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna write here, hello and welcome to bash, okay? So here you can see that I have this um, echo statement and now we can run our script. So for that, I would just simply save it. But right now I cannot run my script. And the reason being is that if I ls hyphen al here, okay? Here you can see that I have hello.sh and then if you take a close look at the permissions, we do not have any executable permissions for hello.sh. And if you simply ls here, you can see that the color of hello.sh is also white, which means that it is not executable. The executable files have a color something like this, okay, greenish type. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make it executable. Uh, I'm going to explain these uh, permissions in maybe in the future video. We have also explained it in the uh, Ubuntu training course. Um, I'll, I'll basically attach the link to it in the description. You can watch that video and you can understand what these permissions are if you already don't know. So there are two ways to change the permissions. Um, but currently I would just use, uh, use chmod. I would write here chmod plus x. Uh, which makes it executable and then I would write here the file name. So chmod plus x and then hello.sh I hit enter you can see that it has not given us any errors uh, which mean that it is totally and completely okay uh, to work with the script now. So I would just clear it and now what I'm going to do is that I have hello.sh on my desktop if I ls here you can see that now hello.sh is executable which means I can execute my script right now. So if I write here dot slash and then I would write here hello.sh okay this is the syntax to run your bash script okay so when you're going to run your bash script you're going to have the name of the bash script and before that you're going to have a forward slash and before the forward slash you're going to have dot okay so now just hit enter uh, you can view the result which is essentially hello and welcome to bash uh, which we basically echoed here so if you want to see here i would nano the file okay you can use the nano editor as well so if you open up the nano editor you can see here we have hello and welcome to bash which has been printed out so if i just change it and do it like hello and welcome to linux send then uh, i'm going to press ctrl o hit enter um, because you press ctrl o in the nano editor to save the file or write into the file so once i have written it what i can do is that i can run my script again so when i run it again you can see that it now it gives me a different result because i have changed the text in the file so now it says hello and welcome to linux hint so hope you've got the point that's how you basically create a bash script and that's how you run it see you in another video